Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back In today's video we are going to talk about the 5-5 uh, five, five timer operating modes or modes modes or mods I don't know exactly anyway let's say that the 5-5 five, five, five timer can work in three main modes right first one we call it the is table mode and in this mode the 555 timer if you remember when we talked about it in the last video we have pin number three now this pin number three can or in this mode in the is table because uh, is table basically means non-stable will continuously output a low and a high voltage forever as long as it's powered on right the output will be a square wave right and we can control the duty cycle and as such things we can control the frequency we'll talk about that don't worry about that but this is basically what the a stable mode is doing continuously outputting low high low high voltage forever right so this will be perfect for um things like maybe flash our circuit right when, when where we want maybe let's say a police siren right here we have red and blue um, lights right and we want them to alternate and maybe this turns on this turns off then in the next step this turns on and this turns off and so on right so this is basically it the stable mode continuously providing high low voltage or a square wave so square wave all right the second mode is or mode is called mono stable so mono stable basically means that the output the normal output of the 555 timer can be right so let's assume this is time this is voltage can be either high we can set the normal output to be let's assume this is zero here can be always zero unless some trigger something um, we do something to the trigger on bot which is if you remember pin number two right in that case what will happen is that we have zero then we trigger it with something to at what a high signal and then go back to um, zero so the output maybe can be 3.3 .3 volts for example right like this or what we can make it work like this it outputs 3.3 .3 volt normally until something triggers it outputs a low signal right so let's say this is zero and then go back now the duration of this change in output right this time let's name it time we can modify it we can set it to any value we want we can make it um, be one second five seconds one minute whatever we want now when this can be useful let's assume that right we have a um fire alarm right so we have some room right we have fire alarm and the fire alarm detects maybe smoke now this will be the detection of the smoke the sensor of the smoke detector right will be the trigger for the 555 timer now normally let's assume it's uh, the 555 timer is set up to normally output zero volt now once we trigger it it will output a high voltage now this high voltage can maybe for example uh, drive right or turn on an LED maybe so a red LED to indicate danger and maybe a buzzer for um, sound feedback right so what we can do is then we can control the time right these two are turned off turned on right so maybe we want them to be running on for a minute right 
so it will run for a minute then turn off again right. the, the final one which is we call by stable mode now in this by stable mode what we have basically is we have two stable outputs so in the monostable mode we have a stable output this is the stable output and this is the non-stable output but in bistable mode what we have two stable outputs all right so maybe this is zero volt this is 3.3 .3 volt all right so like this so it will keep outputting zero volt until something triggers pin number two then once we trigger it the output will change to 3.3 .3 volt and stays outputting 3.3 .3 volt until something again triggers pin number two then it will go back into uh, outputting zero volt so it will alternate between the two but the thing is unlike the monostable mode in the monostable mode the trigger will will change the output for a specified amount of time while in the bistable mode it will change the output to um, however we want it will be forever unless we trigger it again and make it change the output to low so let's name this high and this is low so that's are the three operation or the modes of operation for the 555 timer now where we can find the 555 timer and in what in which circuits well first of all since we can generate with the 555 timer frequencies or square wave frequencies we can use them you can use the 555 timer maybe in oscillators All right rlc circuit maybe we can use the 555 timer to drive an rlc circuit and since we are talking about rlc circuits this means we can use the 555 timer to make metal texture for example All right we can find it also in flash or circuits as i mentioned earlier and we can use it to convert analog um, analog uh, signal to digital signal since the output of a 55 timer is always going to be either zero or any other specified value so it can be either low or high right so we can use it to convert sine wave to square wave we can use it to convert um, basically any signal to square wave signal right so a square wave signal as you might know is a digital signal right and you can think of the 55 timer actually despite it is um, contains analog um, analog components you can think of the 555 timer as a digital component right like you can think of it either way that's totally fine right and there are many many use cases we'll talk about that later on but for now dear students these are the basic three operation um, modes for the 555 timer i will see you in the next video